Welcome to Q&A, Social Security Disability Today. This program is brought to you by the Reeves Law Firm, representing you and your Social Security and Disability needs. If you have a problem or questions regarding Social Security and Disability, call attorney Anthony Reeves. Here's your host, attorney Anthony Reeves. How? How do I find out about treatment options in my area? Okay. This is going to sound go- this is going to sound corny but follow me. First of all, start with your health department. I can't even begin to explain all the resources that your county health department has available to it. But don't sit there and be shy about it. Go ask. And when you say well, what do you mean by resources? Most people when you're applying for disability benefits, you're not working, which means you don't have health insurance, but you know you need medical records in order to prove you're disabled, but you know you need insurance in order to get your to go to the doctor. What I tell people is, and now with the recent change in government, I tell people three things. One, have you applied for treatment under the Affordable Care Act? I better hear yes, because if not, that's the whole purpose of the Affordable Care Act is to provide what? Affordable care. Apply, and you better be able to demonstrate that you can prove that you've actually applied if you say you got denied. Like I'll have people say, oh, I got denied. Prove it. Okay, that's one. Two, go to the health department, apply. Now, a lot of times those places will have what we call a sliding scale, meaning that the the amount of money that you have to pay out of your own pocket is reflective to your financial circumstances. And so you want to make sure you apply there. When you're there, if you know that it's a sliding scale, like sometimes it'll be as low as like 20 bucks, you know, a visit or something like that. Some people say, I don't even have that. If you need to go to a charitable institution or a free clinic, find out which ones are in the area. Find out. And you know who can tell you? The health department. Because they keep access to those resources. They all talk to each other. Open your mouth. Say, I need to know, is there a charitable hospital or a free clinic that I can go to and get treatment? That's how you find it. And people say, really, it's just that simple? It's really just that simple. Affordable Care Act, health department, and then the health department can put, the health department, I'm a huge fan. And let me tell you why I'm a huge fan, because I've gone to a couple of health departments, and I've sat down with some of the great people who work at these places. And you will be surprised the number of times I've had them tell me that there are so many resources that are available to them that people don't either use or even ask about. Ask. I know this is a tough time. No one likes to feel like they're asking for handouts. I got you. Yeah, I, I got you. I know how hard that is. But this is this is the thing. You got to prove you're disabled. This ain't the time to be proud. Okay? Ain't nobody saying you got to beg, but I'm saying this is not the time to be proud. You're trying to find assistance to get you the treatment you need to, one, feel better, and to, two, demonstrate that you're disabled. Open your mouth and ask. The resources are available. Start with those two, and everything else will flow out accordingly.